Exciting Pokemon Newsday. We have five more special illustration rares, or SARs in Japanese, SARs in English, revealed from the new upcoming EV set, Prismatic Evolutions, which will come out in January for English. It's called Terrastal Festival in Japanese. It'll come out in December. We're going to take a look at some of these, and we'll just give you an overview of like the whole set, everything that we know. So this is not an SIR. This is just a secret rare in Japanese is what they call it. And this is the first card that was revealed. All the other cards are special illustration rares. But I actually like this one uh, more than the normal trainers, trainer ones. You got a bunch of them in. I like when they're like buddies and whatever. I just Sometimes some of the single ones aren't as, aren't as fun. I don't know. That one just does it for me a little bit more. Not really a trainer person. Next up, this is the... We've seen this card before. We've seen this Pokemon before, I mean. Teal Mask, the Ogre Pond. Not really a fan of him personally. Not a fan of this Pokemon. Uh, this artwork is okay. I kind of like the style. Like I, I like what's going on. But for me personally, this one doesn't do it. I wasn't really a fan of any of the masks from Twilight Masquerade. Just didn't really like it personally. That's just my opinion though. Some people might love this and that, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, this one doesn't do it for me. But uh, yeah, the colors are fun. Now this card, once again, I don't think I really like this Pokemon that much, but this is really fun. Okay, I really like what's going on here. I like he's skateboarding and all the coins are flying around. Of the of the Goldango cards that we've got, this one is definitely my favorite. I, I like everything about it. And it's, it's turning me around on the Pokemon. I, I might become a Goldango fan now. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like any of these cards? Let, let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Because uh, the Goldango's got a vibe, right? And, and I'm liking it. So, uh, yeah, give me ghoul to Goldango. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a fun card. This, this is one of those ones that's it's just fun, right? It's not cutesy, and it's not, like, really cool, like a like a badass style. It's just it's just fun, and I like that. Okay, now this card, I think this card's pretty cool. I got the, the Dragapult. Now, the crowns and all that stuff, you know, a lot of people don't like them. Okay. It's not really going away right now. I mean, this is what we got. Never particularly... Like, I don't didn't hate on this Pokemon by any means. But uh, I like the vibe of this one. He's just chilling. He's got his little, his little hands. He looks like... He looks kind of menacing a little bit. Those eyes. He looks like he's about to do something bad. Uh, but this one's fun. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Let me know. You guys like the Dragapult? Next up, uh, I think we saved the possibly two of the better ones for... Last, this is this is Ursaluna. I think this is the Blood Moon Ursaluna, obviously, I believe, right? Uh, we've got this. We got a Blood Moon Ursaluna. That was Twilight as well. I think the one where it's going for like the honey, right? This one, this one's cool too. Uh, the art style, you know what? It kind of reminds me of like like paper, uh, not South Park, but like that art style of South Park. Uh, there was um, there's another show that was like that. I can't remember. It. If you guys are thinking of it, let me know. But it kind of has that like that art style. Uh, but uh, this is cool. I like like the the blood moon in the background. This is a cool card as well. The next one is probably my favorite. It might be more controversial. And this one seems this one's kind of busy. It, it might be a little busy, and eh, that's okay. Now some of the. Some of these cards are busy, some of them aren't, and I totally get it. This one could be way too busy. So this is the Tropagos. If you can't tell, this is the Pokemon right here, the crown on top. If you don't know about this Pokemon, it's totally fine. We've talked about it before, but this is featured in the new anime. The It's on Netflix if you guys want to check it out. It's the first one without Ash. Okay, so there's new, there's new characters, and this is a legendary that is heavily featured in the show. Super adorable. So uh, I do like this Tropagos, and I just because I have seen the anime and it's kind of fun, right? It's got the cutesy vibe. So the Tropagos is the, like a legendary, lo well, spoilers, I won't tell you guys <laughs> if you guys want to watch it. But uh, this is, the, the colors, it's like popping, it's busy. Uh, some people will be here for it, some people won't, but uh, I do like the Tropagos. I think that the Tropagos is fun. Speaking of Tropagos, so we're going to compare it to this card. Now this is the one that we just got in Stellar Crown, which I which I do like as well. This card's getting beat up a little bit on the market right now. The set's really not doing particularly very good. It's climbing down to the high 80s right now. It was over $100 for a while. And I just think a lot of people haven't seen the, the show and Stellar Crown got pooped on. But anyways, this is what, if you're comparing this one to this one, 
obviously this one is more busy it could be hard hard to see but uh, it's let me know what you guys like between the two next up so uh, we've seen this before but I'm just updating you guys so we saw uh, on this page there's these are one two three four five special illustration rares before we had the EVs announced now the EVs there's nine so we got quite a few of the special illustration rares that have been announced. I have a better photo of this that I will pull up in a second. So according to Pokey Beach, 32 special illustration rares. So we have 14 that have been announced. So we're not even halfway through. Also, if you guys are not familiar, so this is this was the announcement that was made. If you guys want to check out, this is the pack art. The pack arts are looking pretty good. I do like these a lot. The set's getting really hyped up. It sold out. Pokemon Center ETB sold out like that. Other uh, booster bundles have been selling out the binder collection, everything. I did not mean to click on that. I apologize. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so yeah, pack art. Apparently I cannot go forward here. It's making me click on an ad. So these are the pack arts. This set will have Master Ball reverses like Japanese 151 had, which is probably going to be pretty cool. I mean, I think it's going to be awesome. I did like that from the Japanese side. So that's nice. It's finally coming over. Um, there's also, this is the promo card for the EV for the, the ETB, so it's looking like a pretty good set. Uh, next up, we got some higher higher resolution photos. We'll just go over these real quick. I know that my webcam's in the bottom. We'll just go over them the best we can. Just so you guys can see them a little bit better. This is old news, but I just want to bring it up because I do think it's relevant, maybe if you haven't seen the set. Leafeon, Flareon, Vaporeon, Glaceon. Down here we got the Eclipse Breon. I don't know. I don't know if that name's catching on. Uh, Eevee, Eclipse Breon. It could just be Moon Breon 2.0, but Sylveon, Espeon, and the Jolteon's going to be partially blocked. I do apologize for that. Uh, um, so that is what we have for the 14 uh, special illustration rares. Now, while I scroll through these, these are, this is from the Japanese starter deck generations, and that's going to be, these are going to be the base cards from Prismatic. I'll just scroll through these. There's nothing crazy. But while I'm talking about this, I wanted to bring up something that I talked about before, which is the pull rates. So special, uh, special, <laughs> um, specialty sets, which is what this set is. It is they do not have booster boxes. They only have ETBs, booster bundles. This Pikachu is kind of cool. Pull him up real quick. I like that Pikachu. And <clears throat> sorry, where I'm going with that is due to the amount of special illustration rares. 32 being in the set, if that ends up being the number, which it seems like it's going to be. Because of that, it, usually these specialty sets have easier pull rates, right? 151 had easier pull rates. I think it was one out of 32 or one out of 30 for a special illustration rare. But because of the amount you do, I think it was 32. So you do 32 times 32, it's over 900 uh, per pack if those are the pull rates. We don't know what the pull rates are yet, right? So if those are the pull rates, then these special illustration rares will actually be pretty hard to pull and they could have some good value. It would be similar to the Pikachu right now from Surging Sparks. We'll see if that's the case. Once again, this is just, we're just theorizing. I don't know, right? So here's all the trainers. So I'm going to just go through the trainers. That's that's it for that. So th those are the base, card, uh, base cards from the set. We're just waiting. We haven't seen any illustration rares revealed yet. Just the special illustration rares. Then... For some last bit of news, we have this, this is a collection box that's coming out. This is the Grand Adventures collection. So once again, this is tied into the anime. You got uh, the, the Terrapagos here. It's got like two forms. And so this is the main character right here, uh, Liko. And you got Roy with his Fue Coco. This is going to have some promos that have a really cool, like sparkly, super dense, sparkly um, hollow pattern, which I think is pretty cool. So you got the Terrapagos and Friends here with the same pattern, the Quaxley. Uh, there's a Pikachu on the show if you guys are not familiar. I think that this is going to be relevant because this is, they call him Cap. He wears the captain's hat, Captain Pikachu. This is like down the road, right? After the EV set, we're supposed to get uh, like a trainer's or an owner's set, which is kind of like back in the day where you had like, oh, Blaine's Charizard and Sabrina's Alakazam, right? Well, I think I do think one that is really going to be featured and possibly a big card is going to be... I can't remember. This guy's name's Freed, I think. Freed's Pikachu? I don't know. Could be a big card. 
um, Likos, Tropagos, Roy's, Foycoco. Uh, I can't remember her name. Uh, Quaxley. But anyways, those are things that could be coming down the road. I would be surprised if they're not not in that. The, the anime hasn't really been introduced to the TCG yet. Also, Quaxley got shafted on a card. Quaxley didn't get a card. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's another thing that's coming out. Um, that was just a little bit of a little bit of side news. Um, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think about the EV set. The, it, it's the with what's happening with surging sparks booster boxes are just insane right now, and it seems like Prismatic is going to be possibly even crazier. Uh, I it's going to scare me when when we get there and those Umbreon, what those Umbreon cards are going to go for, especially at pre-release. It's going to be absolutely wild. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's just the update for today. I'm posting this video a little bit earlier than normal just because this news dropped last night and I didn't get to cover it, so I wanted to get it out first thing this morning. I think that with the new cards, they're not, they're not EV good, right? But I do think that they are cool. They'll definitely be the lesser valued ones. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Not every set can have every single card being a banger, but uh, there are some cards in there that I liked, and I can't wait to see what the rest of the special illustration rares will be. What we could theorize is when you look at the base Pokemon, what base Pokemon are due for an SIR. I will say that Reshiram for an SIR might be big, uh, there's, you know, there's quite a few. We could get a Xerneas SIR. I think that could be pretty cool. Uh, Lucario SIR. I would love Houndoom SIR personally. I'm just kind of scrolling through the list as I'm talking to you guys. Uh, Snorlax, yeah. Uh, Lugia SIR, I mean, Lugia's in the set. We got, we haven't really got the Lugia since Silver Tempest, so that could be cool. I don't know how often they want to recycle popular Pokemon, but can you imagine having a full EV set and a if we had a banger Lugia? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, they, they got options. We'll see. Some of them some of them will be these lesser popular Pokemon, which is fine. But anyways, I'm rambling. That's it for, that's it for this video. If you guys are this far in the video though and you're not already subscribed, do me a favor and do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button because I do daily Pokemon market news, uh, collecting and investing content, showing the charts, showing what what cards are going for what. I do every single day posting a video, so uh, you guys are going to want to stay around for that. But that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.